hello good morning please the last video ended i'm so sorry about that good morning good morning to you my name is sharon abonifo i am the founder of teach me skill group i help women acquire and develop skills so that they can use that to earn extra income all right so um if you are seeing me for the first time this is what i do all right so and i also help um startups all right so that they can help uh, grow and scale their businesses to become a mega business all right so if you are like please let us know sorry our last video went off due to uh network issues as usual so please i had invited so i will have to invite again isn't that stressful but what can we do we are here to give value all right so please if you can join us live if you're not in your office at the moment or if you have that time today is monday yes i know you are going to work or you're already at work or you're in your shop or you're in your house shop whichever shop you are or whatever you're doing if you can join us we will be very very happy to have you live because what we have to talk to you about you don't want to miss it please also try to invite people from the group invite your friends to watch this video trust me you don't want to miss what i have to share today i'm talking about five important questions that you should be asking yourself before you start a business with your skills it's not just enough to have a skill you also want to have a business with that okay charity thank you for coming back network can be very wonderful sometimes hello how are you doing casey how are you doing good morning to you all right so good morning everyone today we are talking about five important questions that you should be asking yourself if you want to start a business with your skills all right so um i'll just go straight into it because i have limited time all right thank you so much for being here the first thing you want to ask yourself is how serious are you about this skill that you want to turn into a business how serious are you about it how serious all right so we want to settle down and think about it you know we start businesses and along the way due to one issue or the other we find ourselves leaving those things maybe maybe opting out from the business in the long run or sometimes even in the short run you know you get married to this business six months it does sometimes it doesn't even get up to one year you just get fed up so the first thing you want to ask yourself is how serious am i for this business i want to start it is not just saying i want to start a business because somebody else is already doing it oh that person she's doing that business i'm sure that that is the latest business in town i'm sure that that's what the person is that, that that's what is actually bringing money you know that business is actually bringing sharp sharp cash so i think i should you know do that particular business or probably you you just like the way the other person is doing it so he said okay me to let me enter okay so you have to first of all ask yourself this business that i want to do hi honor me thank you for being yeah the person you are catching me live yay so this business you want to start how serious are you about it have you thought about it the other ones you've done that did not work what were the reasons why they didn't work what was the what were the issues that you had with the other business is it that you didn't have motivation is it that you didn't have support is it that um people you, you the, the way you wanted customers to come they were not coming the way you wanted them to come okay so sit down and ask yourself how serious am i it's not about whether you want to go into this business because i feel by now you have already decided okay i want to go into this business but how serious am i am i willing to take this particular one that i want to do now to the highest point i can am i willing to give him my best am i willing to do what it takes the reason is because 
every other thing you are going to do is going to hinge on this particular question how serious are you i'm sure most of us watching or that's going to watch the replay must have put our hand into one thing or the other probably we felt entrepreneurship was for us or maybe we left because you just feel business is not my thing i don't have the power to market i don't have the stress to be going up and down buying goods i don't have the stress you know when customers are not coming in i don't have that mind to hold on you know i'm, I'm not seeing anybody motivating me telling me that okay it's going to get better because there are some point in time that you have to bear the burden for yourself alone so ask yourself how serious are you this one that you want to do now are you willing to take it to the highest point are you willing to move it to the highest point so ask yourself that particular question now once you have decided that fine you are serious to do this because when you are serious about your business you will find yourself waking up at night without sleep and you will be enjoying it you know without sleep you, you, you can be you can do tdb from from 12 midnight maybe you have been working throughout the day and then around 12 midnight this is the time you have to invest in your business you find yourself doing something you just see yourself doing going the extra mile doing things that naturally you wouldn't have done all right so you have to when you have been able to answer that question then you are ready to move to any other step all right second question you want to ask yourself is how much time do you want to put in daily on your business it is not enough to say okay yes i've decided i want to do this business what are you willing to put in how much time are you willing to devote to this particular thing you are doing i know that some of us have uh, maybe salary we are salary earners we work in other places and then maybe it takes up your time from maybe eight to five excuse me eight to five every day but if you are serious about your business and you are passionate about it you will find that time i know one thing i know about women is that we are multitaskers. that means we can do several things at the same time or like men who like to just focus on one thing so try and figure out a time that works for you the truth is you cannot decide and say you want to run a business and you are not putting in your time put in time if you're going to be doing it at night, if you're going to be doing it during the day, you have to involve. If you give your business five hours daily, um, trust me, the, the output you are going to you know, see from it, you will be surprised at what you are going to be getting. Thank you so much for liking. Please like this video as you are watching. If, you, if, if I'm making sense to you, please like this video. And also, if you are watching, I would like to get comments. How much time do you think you are putting into your business daily? Or how much time do you think you would love to put into it? Do you think that um, your current business, you don't really have time for it? I'll give you an example of myself. I, I work with uh, a company and at a point in time when I started running my business, when I started, I was doing some, some things. I kept giving myself excuses reasons why um i was not you know being productive in my business so i would just leave it as leave it maybe though i was not putting in effort you know when i'm supposed to maybe put in a post i okay for example i was supposed to put out maybe a post out every day but i'll give myself excuses why i should not come online on social media i'll just tell myself oh this this work is too stressful by the time i get home i'm tired uh, what i just want to do i still have to attend to my husband or and then by the time i'm true maybe i just want to quickly watch one telemundo or z world um uh telling novella film or something and then at the end of the day it's already 9 p.m let me just go and sleep and i'm going to maybe tomorrow tomorrow so i just kept procrastinating and procrastinating and the business was just there it was just looking at me and i was looking back at it so it is what you put into it the time you put into your business that is going to determine what you are going to get out of it so you, you need to devote time so think about it how much time are you willing to devote to your business daily yes i know that your life is busy i know that you have so many things to think about so many things to do but please 
take out time it is very important sometimes i i watch timmy and she's my mentor although i've not told her that but i i follow her sometimes when i'm online around 12 midnight i, I see this woman online till one she's there this is somebody that just has a baby not i, I don't think that baby's up to six months all right you see her online by 12 midnight you'll be asking yourself what's this woman doing is she not sleeping the same person is online in the morning posting doing a video this is someone that probably maybe went to sleep around 3 a.m but early in the morning you see her again she has family so if you don't put in time trust me you won't be able to get what you're supposed to get out of it you can't decide and say i'm not going to put in time into my business and expect people to come and start you know flocking around you and telling you oh, what are you selling what are you selling what are you selling you are not putting out content you are not putting out information with your time you are not investing it and you are expecting sales that cannot happen all right the third question is how much research are you doing in your niche area it's not enough you have to develop your niche okay that there, that you know, i know that you know a lot about it you even paid so so and so amount you know to uh to learn the business or to learn the skill that you are into but you have to upgrade and that upgrade can come by personal development you can go out and search for information what are the latest trends what is happening in my area look at pictures look at videos of people that are doing it follow maybe a join a community join a trade so that you can know what is going on in your area so how much research are you doing so that you can be on point so that you can so that you can have the recent information because the phone you bought when nokia 33 10 was the latest phone that time now is ipad is iphone look at what happened to nokia it's now lumia there's nothing like nokia again so you have to update you don't don't the 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 information you got the one that that they use 19 only this uh, textbook to teach you things have gone digital now things have gone you know haywire so please do research in your niche area so that you can be on point so that you can be relevant so that you can be giving out fresh information all the time also research also has to do with knowing what is in the minds of your of your customers or your potential customers so you can do research and know how to what what do they need what do they want are you giving them the right information are you giving them the right product you may think that this is what they need but that's not what they actually need so do research so that you can be able to update yourself you need so how much research are you doing are you just putting out information because you think that you know everything or are you updating yourself all right the fourth question you want to ask yourself is how ready are you for challenges now this is one one point i am so 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 passionate about how ready are you for challenges you know um everybody well, especially when you have a, a an idea the first thing you're so excited about that idea like you already seen the potentials i know how much i can make but most times we don't give room for challenges we don't ask ourselves what if it doesn't work out this way that i have planned it what would be my plan b what will i do will i get frustrated and this is the point where a lot of people get frustrated in business okay so if you are having challenges in your business you're watching this video please i'd like you to type in although i'm not seeing any comments let me see if i can get comments who is commenting who is commenting i'm not seeing the comments if you're having challenges in your business please let us know what were the challenges you had that made you to you know opt out from that business the previous business you did uh with your skills please let us know uh, sorry let me know what those challenges were let me know what the challenges you had okay were well, what they were um when you what that made you to leave the former business you were doing all right so how ready are you for challenges i remember when i uh, uh sometime in september okay august september i had a, a very very fresh idea for my paper flowers business 
and I told myself I know how I can make one million within one month okay I was so consumed with that idea that I knew that if if it worked according to plan there's no how I will not make that one million naira. So I set up a plan. I did my uh, did my paperwork. I did all the background work I was supposed to do, and I set out and I launched and I went into this is an offline thing though. I went into it and I started going from place to place to sell this idea to people. But I forgot one part that, in as much as brilliant and tempting and beautiful as my idea is. I cannot control the mind of the other person. I can only try to, you know, make the person see what I want the person to see. But the person does not know what I have at the back of my mind. The amount I'm willing, you know, the amount I've already calculated. So that one million was just moving me. The, the one million was driving me. I was like, with this one million, I must move. I must move, you know. I was doing that. But by the time I got to, started going out from place to place, I started seeing delays. I started seeing people not too interested. I started seeing people um, not taking it serious. So I said to myself, I, I never really, you know, worked on that part. That what if the person is not interested in this? What if the person does not want to uh, take this offer? What do I do? So how ready are you for challenges? If the person is not taking it, do you now say, okay, the business is no longer valid, does not make sense again, and then you now say, okay, I'm tired, Seth. I've gone to other places, I've I've walked around the town, uh, there's no place I did not go to, they said no. So the, that means this business, Seth, is not good, I'm not sure, let me go and try another one. You will keep trying, you will keep trying, you will keep going from one business to another, and then you will not even have anything at the end of the day. So how ready are you for challenges? And I'm going to say this thing in pigeon because I sorry, sorry about that. Not be the day where you open shop, not be that day people go come start to the patronize you for your shop. So the fact that you have opened a shop, you have you know put it put so much in um you have stepped up the shop, you have put all the garnishing and everything, put your products. Oh yeah, you are ready for business now. Oh yeah, people just start coming. Can you go to the road and start drawing people and say, Oh yeah, you must enter my, my, my shop today and buy? Okay, those of us who have um, hair salons, there are days when you open your salon, nobody will come and do hair. There are days you 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 will come and then you have so many customers that you cannot even handle. You will not start. They will start going. Say until you know you know even they, you know even day fast. It happens like that. So the the fact that you have started this business does not mean that you can now start controlling the, the mind of the customer to come and buy. What you can do is give it time. So how ready are you for challenges? When you see the challenges, are you just going to decide and say, after all, I said it before, this business, it will not work and then you just close shop. Without challenges, you cannot have a testimony. So it's those challenges that will help you to, you know, you know, know what is working, know what is not working, and then you'll be able to now settle down and think your way through. In fact, the time you have challenges is the best time for you to think. You think and you think and you keep thinking. And by the time you settle down and think, you will find out that you will be able to find a way, a possible way where you can do things differently. Challenges can come in different form. Like for example, this morning I was supposed to start this uh webinar by 10 a.m but i didn't have um lights in my house to charge my phone and my, my i tried to charge my phone throughout last night and my I, when i woke up this morning i saw 19 percent i was like what, 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 what what's going on i thought i had put this thing and i didn't even know that the the connector didn't didn't connect well but it was charging when i left so this morning by the before i started this video my my piece my um but she was just one percent. If I tell you how I'm charging this phone to do this video for you, you will be surprised. But it's all about working your way through challenges. You don't say because it's a challenge and then you just it will not work, you will not do anything. Please ask yourself these questions. How ready are you for challenges? When you have set your mindset that okay, I know that everything can might not be perfect at this time. Maybe there might be a challenge. Then you 
brace up for the challenge that is coming ahead and when it hits you you are not surprised you are always just looking for a better way to do it all right then the last question i want to ask is how much are you willing to devote to marketing and advertising there is no business that can, that, tri that can thrive without marketing and advertising i'm the number one person that hates marketing especially when it comes to talking to people i don't just have the strength to talk you know but here am i i'm talking to you all right so marketing you know and some people have this fear that they will be told no so you have to tell yourself no in your mind already tell yourself okay if i'm going to this place the worst this person can tell me is no so i've already told myself no when you go there and the person tells you no you are not surprised but when you go there and the person tells you yes it's a plus for you so how much time are you willing to devote to marketing if you're depending on the type of marketing you are doing if it's the one if it's online if it's the one where you have to go and meet people and talk to people if, if it's the one where you have to you know uh, let people know about your product one-on-one -on -one, how much are you willing to devote to marketing and advertising well, marketing is a lifeline of your business without you marketing it you are just here talking 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 you are trying to sell but nobody's seeing you so you have to market okay so uh, advertise also don't be too stingy to use money to advertise for your business you may not get the returns immediately but you are doing something is going out there for you if you need to print a flyer if you need to advertise on facebook if you need to boost your post do something at the end of th that marketing or advertising that you are doing you are gaining something so let there be um something you are trying to take home after maybe your your marketing goals your advertising goes what do i want okay if if th these people are not going to apply for my course what what would i do all right okay so putting that or i hope you the, the, uh, putting that into your you know uh portfolio like how much am I going to uh, devote into marketing and advertising? All right, you don't have to make it that big. You just like so, some so, some some businesses. All you just need to do is put a banner outside your house. Okay, just put a banner, or you can even there are some supermarkets where you can just do a flyer and you put it on their on their table there, so that customers are passing, they are picking it at the page checkpoints there. If the supermarket supermarket will allow you. Or some some you just have to go to some shops and say please your mother just help me share this flyer you know it's you are doing something somebody can pick your flyer somewhere somebody can see you somewhere and just you know call you up buy from you if you need to sell on e-commerce e stores do whatever you need to do to market and advertise so put that into consideration so these are the five questions there are other questions that you can you know ask yourself but for me this is the five main questions i feel you should be answering especially if you are just starting out a business the reason why you, have, you need to ask yourself these questions is so that you don't get burnt out along the way if you are not serious about a business by the time you start seeing challenges you the first thing you do is want to give up all right so being serious about your business being passionate about your business that is what is going to hold you through when the challenges come all right thank you um uh, before i close this video i'm saying this at the end please my 5k training programs are on i'm my uh i'm giving out 75 percent on all my training programs which is ending on the 28th which is on saturday after then if the the prices are going to shoot up we are in buari season everything is high so but i'm giving you that promo for now it's just five thousand only okay and our classes are starting on november 4th all right so please you want to join in we are we are teaching on paper flowers a one week course we're teaching on how to make flower stems so that you can sell to bridal stores you you make the flower and you become a manufacturer of flowers instead of them importing go and sell it to them we have weddings that are going to be going around this december season there are bouquets to be made there are we have a class on bouquet you can tap into that and start a bouquet business you you these businesses you can you you can start it with just five thousand there you don't need to go and gather two hundred thousand five thousand only and with the word of your mouth you have already started business uh we are doing braid weeks braid weeks is um also going on 
uh, for you to sell these bread, learn how to make and sell your bread with. We also have a distributor list. If you don't don't have the strength to make the bread with, you can join our distributor list. And then as someone who is making it, you have access to this distributor list. So as we are making it, we already created the market for you to start selling. So it's automatic for you. Um, which other one? Hand fan. These bridal hand fans, we are also teaching how to make them. All these courses are going for 5,000 naira each promo price and the promo is ending on the 28th of this month. So please share it, allow somebody, what's the word, share the information, um, subscribe to the training now before the prices go back to the revert back to the normal prices which is in five figures. So please thank you so much for watching. I uh, really really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you've learned something today. Okay, so, so you can take something back home and think about it. So by the time you start, you know that you are starting well and strong. Thank you so much for watching. And God bless you and bye.